blonde and it's not brunette, it's bronze. I'm Jennifer Snassi, you're watching News 24 Live. I'm joined in studio by Women 24's fashion and beauty editor, Marisa Krauss, and she's going to tell us what the latest fashion trends are for your hair. Hello. Hi. <laughs> so bronze. Yes. I like saying that word. Bronze. Like Jennifer. I know, Jennifer. exactly. Um, no, I, I thought yesterday Blake Lively Instagram these two photos of her on holiday somewhere. And immediately, you know, um, the, the internet went crazy for this new hair. She doesn't have those beautiful blonde, oh, they're still beautiful. Yeah, but she's she known for her blonde, blonde locks, locks yeah. So it's basically, I mean, it's like you said, it's not blonde, it's not um, brunette. So it's a great in-betweener, especially mm -hmm. for winter, just to brighten up your hair if you're brunette. Um, or if you want to change, you know, if you're blonde, mix it up. Um, it's basically the new ombre. Um, people are getting a bit it tired of ombre. It looks a little bit like ombre. It does. But it's just a little bit darker. Exactly. It's, um, it beautifully marries like the blonde and the, the brunette tones in your hair. And it's basically like if you think about a tortoise shell, it's all these different like chestnut, chocolate, you know, all these different browns and blondes. Um, so it just beautifully marries that so that not only your roots are lighter, but that it's, you know, throughout your hair, it's all these beautiful different tones. Would you go bronze? Um, I'm not sure. I went uh, brunette once, and especially in winter when my skin is so pale, then I just looked um, very washed out. I don't believe you, <laughs> but okay. But maybe, I mean, if Blake can do it, I don't I know. Think you can not that I think I'm Blake Lively. <laughs> um. Now, the second trend is this. This bob we're seeing on everyone. We recently saw it on Kendall Jenner, and I just have to say that she didn't cut her hair. Nobody freak out. Yes. It was a wig. <laughs> I think, like, there's so many celebrities that actually look better with short hair. You know, like Anne Hathaway, her short hair completely transformed her look. And I think it made her, you know, just a bit more edgier. People always thought, you know, she's this really sweet, sweeter than sugar girl, but it aged her up a bit. And I think for Kendall as well, um, she closed the Chanel show and the Chanel show at Paris Fashion Week was just incredible, as always. It had this beautiful um, casino themed um, runway, which I just thought was incredible, like Kirsten Stewart and Julianne Moore were playing roulette while the show was happening. And then Kendall closed the show um, with this 80s inspired wedding like bridal suit um, with a tool train which was quite ridiculous <laughs> um but not let's just talk about piece. that outfit for <laughs> one second to close the chanel show it sounds um i guess for lack of a better word ridiculous it was what did you think of it um i mean it's always such an honor for these girls to close the show every season karl lagerfeld has a new muse and i think kendall was a great choice um because she's so, you know, everyone's talking about her. But I think the suit worked on her. She has a very, like, um, boyish kind of androgynous, yeah. you know, figure. But I don't think this is something that we'll see, you know, people wearing to their weddings no. too much. <laughs> yeah. Um, and also, it's very, like, shiny, silky. I don't really think that's for everyone. But it looked, did it look good on the runway? It, looked, it looked okay. It looked yeah. okay on the runway. Not as good as the other Chanel outfits, yeah. but it was okay. All right, now um, back to that haircut. The haircut, the, it was a really blunt, like, A-line a bob. It's a, it's a wig that all the models wore. And it just worked beautifully with the clothing um, because it was all these interesting, you know, straight, like, sleek, uh, modern shapes and lines. And I just think it just looked great on Kendall. I think for her bone structure, it really worked. So I think we'll be seeing a lot of, you know, pixie cuts, um, like say all these celebrities like Lena Dunham, you know, all, everyone is going with for shorter hair. So I think we're gonna be seeing this. And even Boiti yesterday, we looked at some Instagrams of Boiti. You know, her short hair compared to her long hair, mm -hmm. I love. So I think definitely for winter, maybe going into summer, we'll be seeing a lot of tortoise shell and lots of short blunt bobs. How do we know if we should cut our hair short? I think it's, it depends on your face shape, definitely. I mean, for some people, it, with, if you have a very round face, I don't think it works that well. Um, if you have an oval face, you know, more heart shaped, it can work really well. And really, even if you, say with the tortoise shell, if you put a bit of light around um, here, you know, it really brightens up your face and can really work for you and with your features but just consult with your hairdresser not every trend works for every person 
So the way it looks on a celebrity is not necessarily how it's going to look on you. So just make sure you make the right choices. <laughs> well, there you have it, the two hottest hair trends at the moment. Let us know what your favorite hair trend is in the comment section below. And for more fashion and beauty advice, head on over to our sister website, women24.com.